For more on this, I'm joined by Tom Packer from the American Institute at Oxford University. Thank you very much, Tom, for joining us here on TRT World. Well, Donald Trump has made history again. He has become the first former U.S. president to be charged with crime. Yep, that's quite correct. I'm, I, I'm, I doubt he'll be the first to get convicted. And if he does, I suspect he'll be overturned on appeal. But it's definitely precedent settling. And I think it partly comes from this very polarized era we're in now. That was also true in the 19th century. But in that era, presidents almost always came from places which were very strongly of their own politics. While Manhattan is one of the most anti-Trump areas of America and happens to be where Mr. Trump has lived most of his life. What does it mean for the future of the political dynamics of uh, the country? Is the situation only going to get worse? Because certainly right now, if you speak to experts, they would tell you that America is an extremely polarized country, especially after the Trump presidency. I, I think that's fair. Having said that, I think there are plenty more polarized countries. And America has a sort of very strong army and police force that hold it together. Um, I, I think a lot depends what happens. Uh, my suspicion is there's a good chance this case will be thrown out by judges because it's really quite weak. Uh, if he gets convicted, I suspect it will be overturned on appeal. I think you can exaggerate the political effect of this, as with a lot of the Trump scandals. I think this will help him a bit, particularly among Republicans who think he's been picked on. Um, I, I, I doubt it will make a huge difference as to the eventual results, whether Trump gets renominated or re-elected. I think it will create a lot of media attention, but fundamentally, I think this particular case is unlikely to change the politics much. Tom, who has gained the most out of this case? Well, I, um, I think there's a case Trump has gained quite a bit, like his poll ratings are going up among Republicans. It drowns out his opponents for Republican nomination. I think, and I think this is why he's done it, and frankly, I think it's poor that he's done it, it given what a weak case it is. Alvin Bragg, the DA, has made himself a massive celebrity. And if he wants to run for Attorney General of New York State or something in that nature in the future, this will be quite helpful for him. So I think he's um, helping make himself a big celebrity. Um, so I think those will probably be the two most obvious gainers from this case. And uh, what does it mean for the Democrats? Uh, I think not very much, um, really. I think they would prefer to probably to run against Trump than another Republican. But on the other hand, most Democrats would say Trump would be a worse president than the average Republican. So it depends a bit. Do you want the chances of Trump being the nominee, nominee who, um, who, who will lose the election? Is that likely to outweigh the, um, a, any greater problems of him winning again. And in 16, dem lots of Democrats were very complacent that Trump were, it was, a, it was a fantastic nominee because he couldn't possibly win. So one has to be careful with these kind of calculations. All right, we'll see what happens. Uh, Tom Packer, fascinating insights into the topic. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.